Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Now, since we went around Minmus, we have a couple people who want to do both Minmus and the moon. And so today we are going to try both with our Minmus flyer um, and hope, crossing our fingers, that it has enough fuel to do so. Um, I will kind of do an abort and bring it back to Kerbin if it starts to look like we're running out of fuel because, like I said, I am not going to be doing any of the reverts anymore. But we just kind of need a list of people that want to do both. So we need Vermi right there. We need... Um, let's see here. Everybody from here, so... Kaylin to Lissy. So the first person, Vermi, then Taylin to Lissy, and then we need one more. So just the one below Lissy. So let's pull out our Minara Citer, and we haven't renamed it yet. I didn't have a lot of time between the episodes. So, um, and then we needed. Um, Taylin through Lissy. Ooh, and they were at the bottom. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, eight. Oh, did I miscount? Oh, dear. Um, um, no, we should really do this. Okay, so Taylin through Lissy, then. Um, we need will wise Sean Moore and then one more uh and Hillian or Hillan so uh Vermi Sean Moore Hillian and then Will Wise. And then we could do the Talon through Lissy. I hope that's in order. Is that in order? Um, we need to make sure that... I wish they would allow you to look at your... Uh, you know what? Here. I got a better idea. I can look at them all at the same time. Uh, load the Minara Citer. Oh dear. Um. Um. Undo. Reload. No. Don't save. <laughs> the Minara Cider. And then we will just go to crew. We know we want Vermi. We know we want Sean Moore, Helene, and Willwise. Um. Now we wanted. Uh. Yeah, okay, so they were all together. Because it was mixing it up. Will Wise was higher than um, that group, but I guess only by. or but by a couple, too, I think. Anywho, um, let us take. rather than Bill. Um, Valentina, get her some experience from this epic trip. We will head out. We will have these deploy inversely. Uh, SAS, full throttle, and let's go. Let's see how this trip works. Now, these being deployed, I should actually keep them up, should start to tilt the craft downwards as we get enough speed. Or at least prevent it from rolling backwards. So. And. Oh gosh, why? Why? No, stop. Oh dear. Um. Well, that's not going to provide a decent orbit at all. Um. The other one deployed in the opposite direction. That's what happened. Oh dear, that was bad. 
Um, let's roll in the correct orientation. We're going to get really high, but not very fast if we don't pull this down here. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is a terrible start to what was to be an epic mission. Or what may still be an epic mission. Um, okay, prograde. I'll wait till I'm a little higher to... Uh, whew. All those pieces. <laughs> uh, about right here. Let's twist this. Now, the thing is, is that that was... I'll, I'll test it in space, but it looked like they went in opposite directions, which would mean that uh, they... Um, how do I put it? Um, they were placed like a rocket rather than a space plane, which is a problem. So once I get to space, I will definitely check out what was what incarnations caused that. Um, but this rocket should be fairly balanced. It shouldn't be needing much SAS. Other than it keeps rocking back and forth, probably because the wings are providing some. Ooh, we need to move down. Uh, are providing some stabilization to rolling two, but which is overkilling it. Um. Nope. Uh, counteract it. Uh, no, okay, that's not working very well. <laughs> so we are losing electrical charge because this thing is deciding to uh, shimmy. Um, we are actually really fast for how far we are out from the apoapsis, so... Um, that is good to hear because it means that the extra fuel in the bottom tank, even though or in the back of the airplane, even though it was split between six rockets, actually helped this craft get higher and further than any other of the rockets before it. <clears throat> Although still not enough to completely get this up here that well. It still did a fantastic job, as by this point we're usually like, um, 300 meters per second slower at this point, typically. So that is fantastic work by that boost section. <clears throat> Stalling out that number. Um, no, that's gaining now, so we want to reduce. Let it continue a little closer. The closer we can get to the apoapsis, the better, uh, the more circular the orbit will be. So we want to ensure that we get that real quick. Um, come on. No, nope, we're going back up. And quite quickly, I think. So if we do that, we have a ton of fuel too. So, basically, to get to the moon, we would normally have about, with the uh, six boosters, we would, use, we would need 900. So, we have a little bit more than that, even. Th so, we might be able to do both. Now, how does this look? So, if we burnt for the moon, we'd be over here. Um, actually, and we might be able to gravity assist us into Minmus from over here. <gasps> or Minmus will, actually Minmus will probably be up here, but still, we might be able to change the orbit to be able to do that. That would be very impressive if we could do that. So let's try it. Let's, uh play around, do some maneuver nodes. Let's learn how we need to gravity assist. 
because the less um, fuel we need, the better. Okay, so that's right. We go earlier to get a gravity assist. Um, because that's still a minute 13 burn. And that is kicking us out of the... Um, um, Kerbin's influence altogether. So... Oh, I think I was pulling on something. Dang it. Okay, get rid of that. Um, add maneuver node. Let's have it interact with the moon again. This thing is so touchy. Whoa. Not quite that fast. Um, it looks like... One second, let's see... Minute 13. Okay, so that will throw us out more on the other side. Not really circularizing, but more just out to there. Um, and we'd have to do another burn out towards the moon, but we don't want to be there because it is orbiting in this direction. So we want to be over here. Can we get this to fling us in the opposite direction if we kinda we'd have to wait till the moon is on the other side it looks like so because if we look at it, the moon does fling us ahead a little, but we need the moon like right here-ish, if not right here, to fling us over here. Because by the time the moon gets over there, I think, um, let's, uh, well, actually, let's first look at these wings. How do you guys react when I do deployed? Yeah, they acted like a rocket ship rather than a space plane. So they are on upside down, and I have to fix that now. Um, lovely. Okay, now let's uh, speed this up a bit and see if we can't wait for Minmus and the moon to start playing with each other a little bit nicer. Um, I won't be able to go more than 50, though, is the problem, because... We don't get high enough. Actually, I think I will cut it here and bring you guys back when everything is in alignment for this to work. So I'll see you guys then. Welcome back, everybody. And we got ourselves a Minmus encounter while flying by the moon. Now, I went to the tracking center, so I do not know our thrust in terms of time, but uh, we will uh, just play it by ear and hope for the best. <laughs> Not really much else we can do in the, in this case, so um, we do need to go over to here. Um, I do think it's about a minute before that I'm gonna need to start burning but I am not completely sure because <laughs> it does use quite a bit of thrust in this direction or that direction. So um, so we will at say 55 because it does not take that much more to burn further out. So we'll give it an extra 15 seconds of burn than what we'd normally do for the moon. Um, and because I've not been paying attention for what we would need to do to get to Minmus. So, um, for the longest time, I thought we were leaving Kerbin's uh, sphere of influence with this. So, I might have 
actually had a better burn that I could have been doing, but um, uh, but we we have the encounter, so we are going to get both in one trip. Now, the reason I have not done any orbits around the moon or Minmus is because these people then start asking for orbits around the moon and Minmus and putting a ship into orbit takes a ton of fuel so oh we were a little early that was actually a 40 second burn it looks like because we are about 15 seconds off it looks like that is actually very impressive um right yeah we well we were about 20 seconds off on that burn this is going to take the same amount of fuel as it would take to get to the moon, essentially. Oh, which is what we are doing. Yep, okay. <laughs> um, and slow it down. <laughs> Hitting the moon on the way back. Uh, let's try to get it back over to this marker because we are going way off. Um, wait, where's this marker wine? Okay, nope, 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 put it back. Put it back. I don't know where it go needs to go. <laughs> um, let's just have it like that. Let's get out to Minmus. We can make some correction changes as we get out there. But that is not the planned orbit. Um... Okay, we'll have to definitely make a correction. Uh, we it says that we will escape, but I think this is on the return. That's coming off the purple one after it finishes. So let's head to the Kerbin Escape or the Moon Mooner Escape, the sec or this first one right here. Can can we? No, we do not even have any. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, let's just fast forward this then. Um, and hope that this just craziness stops after we get into the moon. Um. Okay, let's see what's happening here. So, yes, on the return trip, it will launch us out because we will pass by the moon a second time. Um, but let's click here, add a maneuver node. Now we want to hit Minmus. Now what's our problem? It looks like we went too high. No, nope, we want to go lower. Lower. Maybe a little faster. Okay, there we go. We have something of an encounter. Let's expand this out a bit. We need to go be going faster, so we need to actually angle ourselves into it a little bit more. We don't have a lot of fuel for this, though, so this cannot be a huge burn. A um, little bit, and as you see, we are actually, um, can we slow down a bit, to be fair, too? Because we do not, we sh if we can't, don't have to be going that fast. Right there. And that is a huge periaps, but I think with only needing a 10 second burn, we will be fine. So, um, let's put it on that maneuver node and get to the, um, uh, point in which we need to start burning. <laughs> So right there, and then we zoom in, click off of that. We want to warp to there. Just get through the moon, because those lines are not very hard. <laughs> um, let's, it's only 10 second burn, so we can warp actually pretty close. 25 minutes. Um, 
But yeah, if we can make this, uh, we'll kill uh, a bunch of birds with one stone. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, okay, let's just manually. Th two. One. Slow it down. Okay, at five seconds, we burn. Try to line it up on this maneuver node a little bit better. Because once everything gets this big and this far away from Kerbin, everything starts going to poop. So, and five seconds. Four, two, six. Oh gosh, no. Um, okay, we left the maneuver node, so let's go in the opposite direction a little bit. See if we no, we're we're leaving. We're leaving Minmus. Um How close do we get? Or are we actually going through it? No, we are not. Okay. Um Okay, let's set up another another maneuver node. <laughs> Because we need enough fuel to be able to return to Kerbin. So what happened? We're too flat. Why are we flat? Oh my gosh. Seriously? This kind of makes sense, but seriously? Like, it doesn't even have a burn time. That's how little we need to go, so... We just need to increase our direction just slightly. I'm just doing it until we uh, cross min mist too, right there. And we have that much fuel to try to bring this periapse down. So <laughs> this exciting trip is almost done. Can we warp to there? Cannot auto warp so far. So let's get through min mist. Um, we're, looks like we're going to come in on the tail end of it and, uh, just barely scoot through it, that it will actually be going faster than us when we enter it. And so when we leave it, it is terrible. Okay. So we want the periapsis up when we get there, we want to be facing retrograde because we do want to slow down so that should be on that point right there oh with the front fins being all wonky too i won't be able to re-enter quite the same as normal so okay we want that significantly down A little bit more and it looks like we have plenty of fuel because of that gravity assist plenty of fuel so we'll actually be able to slow down quite a bit before we even enter Kerbin um so let's do a kind of crash dive into the planet <laughs> because it is nearing the end of the episode and I will have to uh, end it here soon, but well, that's how you do a gravity assist from the moon to Minmus. And that's actually, that is, to be fair, my first gravity assist. Um, I just learned on the fly that, oh, hey, it launches me off in this direction. So I should probably try to face it in that direction. So, um, so uh, kind of an example of learning. It doesn't take a lot. You just have to be sure to uh, understand what is going on. So, which is something everybody can do. Um, some people are better at it than others. I will not lie. We are all. We may all be created equally, but we all have differing skills, and that's what makes some people good at one job and uh, people bad at the others. So. Um, and that there's nothing wrong with that because we actually need that. We need black, uh, well, if you want to take it back as far as, um, that, um, we needed somebody who was good at blacksmithing to be able to make tools for the farmers, the tailors, the carpenters, you know, 
but that blacksmith might have been absolutely terrible at farming. So the concept is, is that's what makes our society great, is that though um, one person may be good at something, it doesn't mean that, uh, uh, and terrible at another thing, it doesn't mean that that's a bad thing. Um, and there we go. We actually slowed down a lot. We are almost back in orbit, in fact. Uh, we need to... Actually, we are re-entering at the moment. <laughs> that might have been part of the cause for the um, exceptional... Uh, ooh, too far, too far, too far. <laughs> uh, let's get up like this. That SAS, I tell you what, is about to run out, but it does its job very well when it works. And it is out. <laughs> But we are re-entering, so uh, deploy those. Um, that will face us the correct direction. Um, so. And we are tumbling. <laughs> um, I did want to slow down a little quicker, but I think I'll do the outro there. Because as you see, nothing is overheating. And we are going to slow down pretty fast doing these cartwheels. So. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you uh, like the episode and you like seeing me work through problems like this and learning how to do uh, stuff like this, please do leave a like and subscribe to ensure that you catch the next episode so you can see what problem I solve next. Um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Goodbye. watching all the way to the end of the outro. If you would like to see every rocket launch like this, be sure to leave a link in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching. Bye.